I'm your brother and host Kareem Allah, so I'd like to say in the Arabic language, I salam alaikum, which means peace be unto you, may you have peace. Okay. Because if you have peace, and the peace that God gives you, the only world you would never ever know anything about is a world of peace which is the world that God wants you to have, is a world of peace and happiness. Now, you, you have to work. You, you have to work, man. You just can't have peace without work. But anyway, um, I was thinking about uh, how much is going on in the elective process today. You know, uh, we have so many people involved in the um, presidential race. They have so much to say about it. I look at all these young black people on television, and it seems to me they're only regurgitating what white people have taught them to say. I don't hear any of them really saying anything that's unique or you would think uh, comes from their uh, mindset, but then I understand that all they've been taught is what they've been taught and trained by white folks to say, and they acquiesce, and they're very complicit with uh, the idea. But I'm going to really share some thoughts with you today that I'm thinking, and I just want you to think about it. Okay. Majority of the elected officials today that are in our government are lawyers. The majority of elected officials today in our government are lawyers. Had you ever thought about that? Congress, the Senate, uh, all of these people are basically lawyers. And you know, lawyers practice using the language in such a skillful way as to make evil appear fair-seeming and right to seem as wrong. Lawyers have a way of casting aspersion in such a way that a guilty man can get away with a crime that he is guilty of because they use the word circumstantial evidence and they make an argument using language. I never will forget something I bad witness to many, many years ago. It was this white boy that was shooting and killing people at a stop light in Forsyth County, right on the edge of Forsyth County and Davidson County. And um, he was actually going up to people's cars and he was actually killing people. He was shooting at people. And so the trial involved a black man who was a lawyer, who was the judge, and the court appointed attorneys, two young black active aspiring lawyers, court appointed attorneys. And the prosecuting attorneys were no match for them. Now, people actually witnessed this man shooting and killing other people. But the black lawyers were able to convince the jury, made up of majority white folks, 
that the reason this young man was not guilty was because he was insane at the time. He was not guilty by insanity. And so they have kept this man in alive for the last 40 years or so, or 30 years or whatever. But one of the victim's fathers, he is a, uh, he has always showed up to challenge the young man's appeal for parole. So he has lived his life basically in what we call a hospital. And, uh, but he has still been relatively free to come and go. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's, uh, I'd like to ask you one question. Okay. What difference is it going to make for you in your life who becomes the President of the United States of America? Now, if you've already experienced 16 years, you've had eight years, I'm eight years, I'm sorry, not 16. You've had eight years of a African-American a true African American being the President of the United States of America. And you have witnessed so much brutality on behalf of the police department during this man's tenure in office that now you have established an organization called Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. And you have actually witnessed during this man's tenure of an African-American president where women have been killed in Texas. Black women have been killed while in custody in Texas. And then there's another case in Kentucky where a young lady 17 years old was held in custody and died while in custody. And we have a black president. We have an African-American president and African-American women are dying while in custody. Police brutality is running rampant. And we have people saying that uh, black lives matter. And this is all coming out as a result of we wanting this so bad. We wanted a lot to bless us with a black president so we could fulfill our joys and Make us feel like we are somebody. We have a ride. We can be the president. You know. And all hell breaks loose. On us. So now. What difference does it make who's the president? I mean just tell me one difference. That is going to make for you. Who the president is. Okay. Okay. The only difference that's going to take place in your life is the difference that you're going to make in your life. That's the only difference that's going to take place in your life. Hillary Clinton uh, is a, a, the Clintons cannot be figured in to do us us any good. And they might help a few black folks. But the majority of us are not going to have such a great benefit, especially those of us who are dependent and looking to them to give us this great benefit. There are some people who are going to benefit regardless as to who becomes the president, like myself, because I'm not looking to them to provide me with anything. I know what they're going to do. They're going to protect those and themselves and their constituents and their family members and their close friends. That's what they're going to do. 
Now, it, they're going to make laws that I can, uh, that hopefully they will not conflict, conflict with the laws of Allah, which I obey, and therefore I'm not going to have a problem with their laws. I'm not going to have a problem with their laws. But you, this is what I want you to really consider. Okay, Allah give you everything that you say you wanted, symbolic, symbolically. Okay, to satisfy in your mind that you are somebody. You had to have a black man become the president in the United States. That makes you feel worthy. Now, that's that's your, your idea. It, it wasn't my idea. Okay? I just happened to be a follower of the army Elijah Muhammad, and I came into the knowledge of myself, so I know who we are. Okay? I know who we are. Okay. I know the white man's father. We made his father. His father was the same as we until he entertained the idea of making an enemy for us. His father was a big ass scientist that finished all the schools and everything real quick. You know, smart guy. You know, big head scientists. That's who the father was. See, the white man couldn't have put us in the situation that he has put us in without guidance from somebody like us. You know, it's just like he can't capture those. He can't capture a wild. If you study what he does to put wild animals in captivity, the first thing he does is that he puts a track on them and he watches how they live out there in the wild. He studies how they live out there in the wild. And then once he gets his data together and studies how they live out there in the wild, then he brings them into captivity. And for some reason, he lets them believe that they are still free. But they're not still free. They just don't know it. But he's been he's 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 been taught by an animal who was free how to do that. Okay? That's just like the white man has been taught by one from among us who has always been free. How to continue to govern us. And you can go all the way back to slavery and just look at those that were called Uncle Tom. Now, I'm not saying he's our uncle or anything like that, but uh, that, can, that says a lot because uh, the one from among us that made these people was the same as we. So, you know, he was kin folks. But anyway, I'm not going to uh, go into that too much this week. But next week, when we come back, I'll get into that uh, pretty good. But remember this. Uh, whoever becomes the president, it's all working out in our favor. If Donald Trump becomes... See, I, I believe Donald Trump has been put there by design to bring the white man face to face with himself. You know, Allah uses what's with you against you. And uh, the man is just, he's, he's got them all. He, he, he is so straight that they're all without clothes. They don't have any way they're trying their best to hide their nakedness and throw stones at this man because he is truly being himself. And he is showing us who they really are. And they just, uh, they, he's being them. 
They just don't use the language like he uses it. They go to school and learn a different language. Some people say, well, they're politicians. Yeah, politicians learn how to use a different language. They learn how to lie. It's like on the golf course. You know, you keep your lie in the fairway. I'll tell you a lie, but it'll be in a fair way. That's exactly what politicians do. Donald Trump is not like that. He'll just tell you straight up. I'm lying. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, we're going to build a wall. And everybody is just all excited and everything about that. But how, I mean, really, regardless, like I said, what? how is it going to impact black people? Whoever becomes the president. We're going to have to do something for ourselves, people. And uh, I'm just like Delta. I'm ready when you are. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next week. Have a beautiful day each and every day. I'm out of here.